Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Mercury retrograde is in full effect. I'm having so many technical difficulties, but I want to get the messages out. These will be your vision quests. Your vision quests after the solar eclipse. The solar eclipse will activate the spirit's journey. What do we have for Sagittarians and all those who love Sagittarians? Spirit, spirit, spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What do we have for Sagittarians and all those who love Sagittarians? Incommunicability. Panic. Pessimism. Saggies. Every time I see the incommunicability card, I think of like supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. It's a very Mary Poppins type of card. Incommunicability. Spirit, 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 what are the messages that you have for Sagittarians and all those who love Sagittarians? Woo! Spirit, 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 what are the messages? Sagittarians and all those who love Sagittarius. Spirit, spirit, spirit. What is that? These are doors to your vision quest. Seventy-eight keys, seventy-eight doors. Spirit, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. What are the messages for Sagittarians and all those who love Sagittarians? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Spirit, spirit, spirit. What are the messages for Sagittarians and all those who love Sagittarians? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Be your best one. Be your best one. Ugh. I felt a little disconnected from the first two readings. I did um, Aries and Leo before, and I mean, to be honest, I was frustrated with all my um, all my technical problems, but I feel like I was too disconnected. So I hope I can get your readings out. It might be Mercury retrograde, my incommunicability. Okay. That's going to be there for a long time, too. It's in Virgo, so it's not too terrible. Oh! Fly off the handle! I sent it. It's the world. Okay, let me draw you a few charms. This one's family, the family stone, okay, luck, my lucky rabbit's foot, okay, and the god stone. Spirit, 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 what is the message for Sagittarians and all those who love Sagittarians? Spirit, 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 what is the message for Sagittarius and all those who love Sagittarians? So we start out with death and 
it's a change that you're not quite ready for and so you're in the grieving process but in the painful side of the grieving process like you haven't um, come out of the sorrow this um, grieving over someone um, but you see these flowers right here it's like we die we go into the soil our body decomposes and then we come up you know making flowers um, more beautiful uh, sometimes farmers will burn their land so that the soil gets really rich and then the next season they can plant a whole new crop and it's free of weeds and it's really like nutrient dense from that ash. So death is not always a bad card. It means like transformation, but right now you are just processing a loss and you have not seen the transformation yet and it goes with incommunicability in the world like perhaps you can't express this grief perhaps you can't express grief that you feel about the world like language barriers or cultural differences that you can't explain. Okay. Let's go up here. Okay. Next we have the High Priestess in reverse. And you may be going to psychics who are ripping you off. You may be... Um, kind of obsessing over a spiritual meaning um, and perhaps going to the wrong places. So be really careful when you get online and read these. Um, what I'm seeing here is there might be Um, try to limit your intake of these psychic readings because there, there's so many messages from so many different readers and because you're in a grieving process where you are still processing then you don't want any false entities coming in to your reading um, because I do see it's causing some panic and let's see Next we have the Knight of Cups reversed, and the Knight of Cups could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, could be a Scorpio very likely because, oh, or it could be, um, I think High Priestess is Pisces, is it? I can't remember. Um, but High Priestess is my grandmother card, so you might be experiencing the death of a grandmother who was a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. But when you are getting some of these readings, you are believing in things that are maybe triggering memories and causing this sense of panic. If you're involved with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces in a romantic way, then this could also be just a factor that's distorting reality. Let's continue. Next we have the Six of Chalices. And the Six of Chalices talks about someone from the past um, coming back into your life. In this deck, you see a grandmother. She's reading a story to her grandchildren. And I did say that this was the grandmother card. So she's reading... A story to her grandchildren about days past long long ago and perhaps right now you're pessimistic about those kind of stories about those kind of fairy tales and
disconnected from God. Like, if you find yourself getting panicky over psychic messages, know that they're just not in line with your divine message and you can move along to the next reader. But this Queen of Staffs is reversed and when the Queen of Staffs is reversed it's this very temperamental person. She um, like she'll uh, blow up your phone and um, Like, screenshot your text messages and like, stalk your Facebook and um, she loses her temper and so if these messages are triggering something in you this source of panic this source of pessimism then maybe the past isn't so maybe it should just stay in the past and on. You could also be dealing with an Aries or a Leo. You might be wanting to hear from someone on the other side and maybe they are learning what they need to on the other side. Like they are learning the lessons of spirit now that they have crossed over. So they could return to you at another point in time, but right now they need to learn lessons of the divine just like you need to learn your lessons as a human, you know, as um, this, in this realm. Let's see, Dragon's Lair, ooh, scary. Dragon's Lair. Dragon's Lair. You are always protected and divinely directed. You have a remarkable internal warning system that lets you know when things are not are out of alignment. You're about to enter into dangerous territory, so tread carefully and be aware of your surroundings. The path you're on is one that will challenge you to the core. That, per that said, peril is also exciting and exhilarating, like the danger you feel before you enter a relationship knowing that you'll be changed forever. A life lived fully isn't lived only in safety. A new experience is calling to you, one that will test your courage. The choice is yours but there is greater value in risk-taking than remaining unchallenged. New territories are awaiting to be discovered. So, um, as you are experiencing this grief, you could also, like, it's like new territory for you, a new frontier for you, a new sense, like a new type of grief. And as you react, then just know, um, you know, like they said, it's exciting and exhilarating. So just be, try to look at it as a challenge in life. Let's see what the angel has to say. You have Angel Layla, she's so pretty. Spend time alone in nature, meditating about your desires and intention. Ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective. And this is upside down. Mercury retrograde. What did I tell you? And you can. Okay. I looked at the camera screen. Now I'm irritated. <laughs> I'm going to have to flip it. Okay. I want to read Layla Extended for you. I feel like I need to. Your life is so noisy lately and you need to escape into a place of natural tranquility. 
It is time for you to be alone in nature, even if it is just for a brief while. You don't need others' permission to take care of your soul in this way. Simply, pl simply plan your sojourn and then follow through on those plans. Once you are alone in nature, allow your mind to wander wherever it wants to go. Notice your thoughts and feelings and perhaps write them down. After a time, speak aloud or silently to the nature angels that surround you. Ask them to clear your body and aura of any stress that you may have absorbed. Then meditate and pray about your desires and intentions. Prayers are amplified by the power of nature and you will feel very refreshed when you return home. Hmm. So I like that. Thank you, Sagittarius. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next time.